Hello and welcome to today's Essential Words. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg and I'm thrilled to welcome you to today's raw, real and unedited show. And the reason I'm letting you know right away that it's raw, real and unedited is because I do this show every day and <laughs> today is garbage day. So here I am doing this show while uh, the folks are picking up the garbage so you're gonna hear beep 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 and and all sorts of other things so <laughs> it's just hilarious to me so anyway I want to continue the deep dive into the concept of Ikigai the Japanese concept of finding your life's purpose yesterday in yesterday's episode we covered what you love and I asked you to make a list and also do some affirmations about the things you love to do, the things that make you happy, and feeling deserving of, of doing that. Today I want to talk about the next quadrant of Ikigai, and that is what you're good at. And this is also, I mean, the whole thing is making a list and checking it twice, if you will. But this one is a little bit complicated because you can kind of tell what you love, but it can be <laughs> really in my eye. <laughs> okay. I had a bug fly right in my eye. Anyway, you can tell what you love, but deciding what you're good at can be a challenge. There are a couple of different things that we need to address. First, you need to decide between a talent and a skill. Basic definition and the difference is talent is what you're born with. You might be born with an amazing ear for music, right? You might be able to hear music really well and, and, and and distinguish different kinds of tones and all of that. That's a talent. A skill is becoming great at the guitar or becoming a great singer, right? You might have a good voice, but you might be untrained. So the talent is having a good voice, a good singing voice. Training is the skill that you learn to develop it to become a great singer so that you can apply technique. So when you're making your list of what you're good at, you need to make sure that you make that part of it. What is your talent and what is your skill? And if you have a talent but it's undeveloped, you can always work on developing the skills. One of the best ways to do this is to start thinking about the things you were good at when you were a child. If you were good at something, if you were good at organizing, if you put all of your stuffed animals in a row and, you know, biggest to the smallest or something like that, you might be a really good organizer. Now you may not have the skills that are sitting in books like getting things done, but you have the natural innate ability to, to organize, to categorize, to characterize things. Or you might have a natural innate ability to sing, but you're untrained. Then you move to the skills, right? And you move to figuring out what are the things that you have built or can build that you can be really good at that are going to serve you in, in, in your life's purpose that you either may not have quite yet or that you have so intrinsically that you don't even think that you're good at it. And it can be, I'm really good at distinguishing different colors. It can be, I'm a good singer or, uh, I'm great at Excel. I don't know. It depends on what your skill sets are. You could be a great swimmer. You could be uh, any number of things that can be skills that can allow you to further your life's purpose. Now, now remember, being good at it and loving it might be two different things. We haven't gotten to the point yet where you're going to start putting things together. You're just now listing everything that you're good at. And here's another thing to think about while I'm at it. I have worked with a lot of clients. Uh, I've over 13,000 people actually. And one of the things that I've noticed working with these folks, especially when we're talking about developing skills uh, and developing our talents into skills, if you will, is whether or not you're a generalist or a specialist. Now, some of us are specialists. We're Albert Einstein. We're great at the thing we're great at, but sometimes we're rubbish at everything else. And you know what? Because we're so great at what we're great at, we don't have to be great at anything else because we have the one specialized skill. A lot of us are generalists, and generalists are people who are pretty good at just about whatever they do. 
And here's the trouble with generalists. Sometimes, and I'm a generalist, I, I let me, full disclosure, I'm a generalist. And sometimes as generalists, we get frustrated because we don't have the one thing that we're great at. And that's a challenge because you have to sort of get past that, I think, limiting notion that you must be amazing at the one thing. You don't have to be. In fact, there's a great book called Refuse to Choose that's all about that. But really, you can be good at a lot of different things and instead of being great at the one thing and rubbish at everything else, you've got a good solid basis of what you're good at. And I encourage you to love what you're doing while you're doing it, always. That's what I tell all my clients, love what you're doing while you're doing it and then move on to the next thing if that ends up being what you decide to do. Because you don't have to have the one thing in order to succeed. What you have to have is a knowledge of what skills and talents you bring to the table. Once you do that, then you can make progress. So you will eventually winnow down what you're good at into the thing that you want to pursue as part of developing your life's purpose. But right now we need to know what all those things are. So. The next page of your uh, notebook that we started yesterday with do what you love and if you want to find that you can find that on uh, on the three platforms this show shows up in and I want you to go ahead and do that figure it out for yourself and list for yourself exactly what you're good at they can be talents or skills they can be general or specialist you decide and you list every single thing. Don't judge yourself, just list it. We're gonna get to how to work with all of the data later. Right now, all we wanna do is list it all. So page one from yesterday, what you love, page two from today, and if it takes multiple pages, yay, that's great, you might have lots of things you love or lots of things you're good at. But the next page, list your skills and talents, every single one. Tomorrow, we move on to the next part, what you can get paid for. All right, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have questions about Ikigai, or if you have questions about developing your life's purpose, figuring it out, or communicating about it so that you can then go work your life's purpose, drop me a DM and let me know. And I'd love to hear from you. If you find that this is uh, super fun, let me know. If you find that you're having some challenges with it, let me know that too, because I think it's important for all of us to have an understanding of what we bring to the table, of what we can do, skills, talents, everything. The more we understand, the more we're going to be able to use them to thrive. So drop me a DM. You can find me at, at Isolde T just about anywhere, except Facebook where I am Isolde T Speaker. But everywhere else, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, it's Isolde T. And you can find me and comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you about exactly what it is that you're good at. And if you're struggling with building the skill, I might be able to help you with figuring it out. How to build the skill that you really want as part of this entire process. Until tomorrow, I send you my love. <laughs>